There are new Intel APIs to give you more control when formatting numbers. There's an origin trial for the new pop-up API, making it easy to surface critical content to the user. There are a handful of CSS improvements, and there's plenty more. Including me. I'm Pete LePage. And I'm Adriana Jara. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers. In Chrome 106. The Intel APIs are super helpful for displaying content in a localized format. Like other Intel APIs, they shift the burden to the system so that you don't need to ship or maintain complex localization code for every single user. It knows exactly where the currency symbol goes, how to format dates and times, or compile a list. Chrome 106 adds a slew of new number formatting functionality. Let's say you need to display a price range. Format range has you covered. Create a new number format object, provide the style, how many digits you want to show, and a few other options. Then call format range, and you'll get the formatted string. Want to round a number to the nearest increment of five with an accuracy of two decimal places? No problem. Specify the minimum fraction digits and rounding increment then call format. You can even tell the browser to include trailing zeros with trailing zero display. Super helpful for prices. There are more details linked in the post, or check the Intel number format docs on MDN. The pop-up API makes building UIs way easier. For those times when you just need to put information right in front of your user. The pop-up attribute automatically brings the element to the side stop layer and provides easy controls to toggle visibility. No more worrying about positioning, stacking elements, focus, or keyboard interactions for you. Best of all, it requires zero JavaScript. With only this snippet, the API takes care of rendering the element on top of all other content and handles user input and focus management. By default, users can close the pop-up with gestures like the escape key or clicking on other elements. And developers have full control over the style, positioning, and size of the top layer, but also the flexibility to modify the default behaviors using only CSS and HTML. Check out the article in the description for more examples and API options. Sign up for the origin trial to easily give your users timely information. Let us know what you think. There are two new CSS features that improve interop and hopefully make your life a little easier. CSS Grid now supports interpolation for grid template columns and grid template rows. These flexible values allow grids to smoothly transition between states, as opposed to snapping in place at breakpoints. And there is a new length unit in town. IC is joining the party. IC is similar to CH, but IC is used specifically for text written in languages that use ideograms. Basically, it measures length based on the width or height of this character, which means water. It is a unit designed to size text, allowing you to limit width to improve readability and it gives predictable control regardless of the text size. For example, if you set the max width of a container, let's say to 10 IC, you know that container will have at most 10 full width glyphs, no matter the font size. Of course, there's plenty more. We're starting phase five of the user agent reduction plan, support for HTTP2 push and the persistent quota type are being deprecated. And the CSS property hyphenate character is now available unprefixed. All the details, including links, docs, and specs are in the post linked in the description. Hit that subscribe button now so that you don't miss any of the latest Chrome DevTools videos, GUI challenges, HTTP 203, and more. I'm Pete LePage, passing the new in Chrome Dino. And I'm Adriana Hara. And as soon as Chrome 107 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.